Hey guys, I'm back to do some more uh, NBA 2K12 video tutorials for you. I've gotten a bunch of requests to do hex editing, the court colors for the changing the colors of the lane and the uh, out of bounds area. And this also applies for the um, lines as well, I believe. If we load up the screenshots of all the 2K floors, which is a great resource that I put together, um, what we're going to be doing is uh, changing the color of the green lane all the way and the out of bounds all in the Celtics court and like I said this will also work for these uh, hash marks down here and all the other lines but you have to just have to find out you know where all this data is and I'm going to show you how to do that so first thing you want to do is load up the uh, floor file this is the Celtics floor file in the hex editor of your choice and I'm, I am going to go off this because I don't know this by uh, heart. This is my tutorial I made for 2K11. So yeah, this would still work. So we load it up, and what we want to do is we want to run a search for this hex right here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, and we're going to do a, well. We're going to do a search for it right here. And what the tutorial says is we want to look for the second instance of it. So. This is the first instance of it. We're going to ignore this one, but we're going to go to the second one right here. And then we look up a little bit, and we can see this is the data right here that controls the out of bounds or the lane color. I don't know which one it does. Now it's just a bunch of hex. It's not really useful there. So to make it useful, we need to use float values. So we select 8 bytes, which is right here, and we look at the float value right here, which is 0.299. And then the next one is 0.474, and this one is 285. Now what these bytes control, is it's like the RGB of the color for that lane. So if we go down a little bit, you can see I, I listed it out right here of where the RGB uh, delineates are. And, I mean, this is difficult to try to kind of do in the... You know, like this because I don't do this that often. I'm not. I'm not really a. Core, I used to be a core patcher for NBA Live, but I haven't done a lot of it for 2K because it's such a pain in the butt. But essentially, you need to multiply those values by 255 to get the actual RGB numbers. So if we load up GIMP real quick here, we will be able to transfer that RGB into an actual color. So we see oh, sorry. So we have a red of 43, a green of 101, and a blue of 48. And there's that green color right there. And in this tutorial, I mean it's a great tutorial. I did a good job on this thing. Um, you know, you can go through and you can create your own uh, values and I go through that about you know how to use the converter and everything to uh, take RGB values and turn them into float values so I mean you know I'd really go off this tutorial because I really did a good job on it I mean to do my own horn there now the thing that people have been having issues with this is a great way to find the lane colors but it doesn't really help to find all of the other you know lines and everything else that can have the colors in there because as you can see we have 219 instances of this there's not 219 different things to recolor here there's one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight because once you get down here you don't want to mess with all that so there's eight different things to recolor and as you can see let's go ahead and put these in a notepad so we can compare These are all different colors, and they occur, they may show up multiple times, right here. Oops. Uh, was that the last of it? I think that was the last of it. That's that the top one? Nope. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of different things, I mean, it's all about experimentation. And you know you had to create the hex values yourself. 
I mean, this isn't going to be the greatest tutorial because I'm not going to go in depth with this thing on YouTube. But that's basically the ins and outs of it. You just got to keep searching for this string throughout the file and it will show you the different areas to edit. So not the greatest tutorial, but I mean, there's not too much I can do that hasn't been explained very well in this picture tutorial here. So check this one out and I will see you guys at the next tutorial.